welcome. This is Melissa Arma with Stock Swishing and Reviewing JPM. This was an options trade that I called actually at the end of 2023 for a 2024 expiration. I had called the 167.50 calls. And I'm going to go over it because this was a nice trade. I mean, it was very, very strong. And again, one of the few things that I've called to the upside, if you know me, you know that I prefer to short. And the reason I prefer to short, and again, a put is a short and an option. The reason I prefer to short is because stocks fall faster than they rally. But I gotta tell you, this was strong. In fact, where did I call this here? I think it was after Christmas here. So I called this here and it, it was good. I mean, and look what it did. And again, it's crazy to say, oh my gosh, how can you go long here after it's up, you know, 72 days in a row? Didn't matter. Again, it didn't matter at all. <laughs> I mean, you could have exited this trade at any point in time here up. I mean, it, it really, it, it just nicely rallied, nicely held through the strike. Um, and again, you know, I for sure be out of this at this point just because it has such a nice big rally and the market is question mark for tomorrow going into the economic reports. But, you know, when you take a trade, you just have to decide where you're going to get out, you know, and, and, and I'm not talking about getting out making pennies. I'm talking about you're up in a trade, 75%, 80%, 100%, 125%, you know, you just kind of have to say, okay, I'm going to take this profit. I'm going to exit the trade, go into the next trade. And again, you can always re-enter a trade. Now, I did not re-enter this, but I'm just saying, you know, you have to make sure that you get out of stuff that's up. You know, because tomorrow morning, if the market's down, this could be down too. But this was a nice call. Again, I called calls in this, which is a long, and it went. So let's just take a look at the big chart here in this. So again, the options newsletter, you will get longs. You will get longs, you will get shorts, you will get calls and puts. You know, this, this is, of all the banks that are out there right now, and there's quite a few, big ones and small ones, uh, this is this is a nice chart. I mean, it really, really is. So, uh, just wanted to review this because again, people on the newsletter got this trade. They got the calls. You had to be on the newsletter in December, though, of 2023. If you were, you got it, and it went. And again, this was still up today, even in the close with the fallout because of the fact that it was above the strike. But you must take profits and trades into the momentum. That's where you want to get out. So good luck, everyone. We'll wait and see what happens tomorrow morning. Exciting day with the unemployment number coming out. Can't wait to see where we go. Good luck. If you would like to sign up for the Gap Options newsletter, email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.